and welcome back to another new video. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these sit down videos but I'm going to be getting back on track now. Um, today we're going to be talking about the movies that I gave 5 stars to in 2015. Um, now it's actually really interesting because I've looked through, I've got my little um, book here that I've been keeping the movies that I've watched throughout the year in this little book by Order of the Month. and. There's quite a lot of movies that I really enjoyed but I gave four and a half stars to so obviously they won't be on this list so I feel like if I made a top 10 of 2015 um, there'd be a lot on the list that I actually didn't give five stars to which is interesting but um, you know I guess that's just how it is there's not too many five star movies plus of course there are movies on here that are either rewatches or movies on here that didn't be released in 2015 um, you know for example the first one I've got here if for January was a 2014 movie and then the next one actually is again 2014 but I've got a 2008 movie you know it's just all kind of mix and match so it's not um, subject to 2015 movies um, but yeah so hopefully that makes sense and let's just start these are the movies I watched and enjoyed most out of 2015 it seems so in January um, I gave the 4th stars 5 stars this was a rewatch but I think this movie is fantastic and I love it I would still give it 5 stars even today um, the next movie that I gave 5 stars to was Guardians of the Galaxy, which again was a 2014 movie. I loved it, it was a rewatch. I watched it again later on in the year too. Always give 5 stars. Uh, the next movie I gave 5 stars to is a pretty obvious 5 star one, because it is The Lion King, which obviously came out in 1994, so it's definitely not new, but it's brilliant and it's totally worth 5 stars. And um, the next one is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, one of my favourite movies. It's very sad, but it's very, very good. Um, so again, it's another five star worthy movie. Um, the next one I've got is The Call, which actually is a really interesting one. So I gave this movie five stars, which seems very high for the type of movie that it is, but I remember really enjoying it and really find it very intense and it did the job it was going to do well. So if you haven't seen that one, I think it's you know more of an underrated one on this list of five star movies, so I'd recommend that one. And now, turning the page, but still in January. Um, I have Free Willy, which I gave five stars. This is kind of like a nostalgic five stars for me because I used to watch Free Willy all the time when I was younger. I love Free Willy, so that's kind of had to be on my five star list. Um, what else have I got? The Giver. I watched The Giver multiple times during um, 2015. Uh, it's a 2014 movie, but I watched it a bunch. And every time I get five stars, I thought it was really fantastic. I haven't watched it for a few months now, but I did really love that one. Um, the next one I have, ah, that's it, okay. So for January, those were all the movies that I gave five stars. So you know, we had some good ones, we had some interesting five star movies. Now, moving on to February. Okay, so in February, the first movie I gave five stars to was Mandela. Yes, I remember really, really enjoying Mandela. I definitely think it's one that I would rewatch as well. Um, I feel like it's been a while now since I watched it, well, you know, it's nearly January, so it's nearly been a year. Um, I don't remember too much about it, but I remember having it having an impact and I remember thinking it was really fantastic. So again, I'd recommend that one if you haven't seen it. I feel like it's more of an underrated one on this list. Um, the next one... Huh, okay, there's only one on the first page. Let's turn over and see if there's more. Um, yes, okay, next one, Castaway. Again, feels like a typical five-star movie, but it was fantastic. I think it was my first time watching it the whole way through. I'd seen parts of it. Um, you know, I don't know why, I've seen like all bits and bobs, I've seen the beginning, I've seen the end, I've seen some in the middle, but I don't think I'd sat and watched it from start to finish properly, um, and I loved it, and I definitely want to watch it again this, well, I say this year, I mean 2016, there's like only a couple of days left of 2015 now, uh, yeah, I loved Castaway. Um, we also have Moulin Rouge, ah yeah, okay, so in February I went to Paris, and I went and saw the Moulin Rouge and it was everything I'd wanted it to be. Uh, when I was younger, Moulin Rouge was one of my favourite movies ever. It's still one of my favourite movies. I gave it five stars, of course. I love it. I think it's fantastic. It's a great musical. It might be my favourite musical, so that's kind of an obvious one. Uh, next one I've got is The Book of Life. Uh, this is a really interesting one, actually, because I gave this movie five stars. I thought it was brilliant uh, after I watched it, uh, which is the animation movie, kind of the one about the Day of the Dead. And I haven't watched it since, um, so I think I think a series of five stars is very creative and different. But I need to watch it again because usually my five star ones, you know, I watch them multiple times. But that one, I've only seen that one time, uh, and that is it for five star ones of February. Moving on to March. March we have Thor: The Dark World, so Thor two. Love this movie, get it five stars. I mean, I love Thor, he's my favourite. I can't wait for Thor 3. I just, I really like the superhero movies. 
Um, the next one I have here is The Giver. Again, we've talked about The Giver. No need to go on about that one. Next one I've got is Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Last Ark. Last Ark, Raiders of something. I just wrote Raiders dot 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 because I didn't have much space. Uh, obviously, it's the first Indiana Jones movie. It's going to be great. It's going to be five stars. It's fun. Everybody knows what Indiana Jones is, so there's that one. Next, I have The Parent Trap. It's like one of my all-time favourite movies. I grew up with this movie. I love it so much. Um, so that's the obvious five star. Um, the next I've got The Hobbit 2, uh, Desolation of Smog. I love this one. This is my favourite Hobbit movie. And again, I haven't rewatched it. And I wanted to rewatch it at Christmas time and I didn't. So maybe I'll have to rewatch it around New Year now because I love that one. Um, I like the second one best, then the first, then the third. Um, but yes, that's five stars, definitely. Next one I watched was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Every Harry Potter movie gets five stars, so of course that was a five star. Is that the only Harry Potter movie I watched last year? I probably should have done like a Harry Potter marathon. Okay, we're still in March. What else have we got for the other page of March? Bloop, 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 bloop. Hunger Games. Of course, I think Hunger Games is fantastic. Um, five stars. I give Hunger Games the first one five stars and Catching Fire five stars. I never watched Catching Fire this year again. Um, I thought I did, but... I can't see it on the list. Sometimes I do forget to put things on the list though. Um, yeah, but Mockingjay gave four and a half. That's why it's not on this list. I did actually just go past it. And um, next we've got Saving Mr. Banks. I love this movie. It's like one of my favourites of more recent years. I think it's fantastic and I need to rewatch it again because I just love the heck out of it. Obviously I gave it five stars and I haven't watched it since then, since March. Um, what else have we got? Okay, that's all the five star movies for March. Moving on to April, we have Rise of the Guardians, the 2012 Free Rights movie. This is obviously a rewatch. Um, is April Easter? When's Easter? I think I watched it around Easter, I'm sure, because it has Easter theme. It's, it's a good movie. I really do like it for um, one of the DreamWorks ones. That, you know, I really enjoyed it. Um, next, we have Interstellar. It's amazing. It's space. I really did enjoy this, and I have watched it again. And I still get five stars both times, so that was really good. Um, we also have Captain America 2, loved Captain America 2, thought it was fantastic, um, obviously it's Captain America the Winter Soldier, can't wait for Captain America 3, um, I definitely enjoyed it more than Captain America the first one, even though I enjoyed that one as well, but yeah, 5 stars, um, what else, nope, turning over, and Thor 2, that was again, obviously I watched that one again, um, still obviously gave it 5 stars the second time, that's it, moving on to May, in May, what was the first movie I gave 5 stars to? I can't find one yet. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, okay. Turn to the page. Okay. I, I do have some. There's two movies I gave five stars to in May. And one of them I've actually changed my mind on. Okay, the first one I've got is Into the Woods. I gave this movie five stars after I watched it. I thought it was fantastic. I actually tried to watch it again. And I just kind of didn't enjoy it as much. I think it was four or four and a half on the second time. But the first time I watched it, I gave it five. So... It's an interesting one. Uh, the next one is Big Hero 6. Love Big Hero 6. Five stars. I agreed to myself the next time as well. So that's fine. I give that five. Uh, in June, I gave The Theory of Everything five stars because it's brilliant. I actually did watch this again and I still stand by that as well. Um, the Great Gatsby was a rewatch because I love The Great Gatsby. So, of course, I give that one five stars. And also Frozen. I uh, rewatched Frozen, gave that five stars. Frozen is just great. It's kind of overhyped, but great. Uh, Whiplash. This is the first time watching it when I watched it in June, and I thought it was amazing. It blew me away in loads of ways. It was definitely one of my favourite films of the year. I get five stars. I don't know why I keep saying that because they're all five stars. Uh, next is Jurassic Park, the 1993 one. Five stars. It was brilliant. I loved it. I'd seen it before, obviously, but not for a while. Um, turning over. Oh, okay. So now we're into July. Okay. In July. I watched Lilo and Stitch. I gave that five stars. I mean, Disney movies most of the time I do give five to. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was a rewatch for obviously again this year, and then Big Hero Six. Before we talked about those, blum blum blum. Soul Surfer. Okay, I gave Soul Surfer five stars. I loved this movie. I really enjoy surfing movies. Um, this one was really really good. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. I do really want to rewatch this one. I thought it was a really really great movie. Okay, so now we're moving on to August, and the first movie that I watched in August, I gave five stars to, that was Inside Out. I have rewatched it again, and I still gave it five stars, but I definitely didn't quite enjoy it as much as I did the first time. 
which might be controversial because I think some people watched it again and then enjoyed it more and more but I just yeah I don't know but still it's on my five star list of course um Pocahontas another classic Disney movie um da -ba -dum. One Day, that's like my favourite movie, so of course I gave that five stars, the 2011 One Day. Um, yeah, I feel like towards the, the beginning of the year I was watching lots of movies I was giving five stars to, and as we're kind of getting on, I'm only watching a couple of five star movies a month, which is interesting to kind of see. Um, and then another five star movie that I watched in August is another movie that is a rewatch, and it's one of my favourite movies, and it's We Bought a Zoo. Uh, I love that movie, so of course that'd be my... Yeah, it's my top. Um, I've got two great ones for September. Fast and Furious Seven. I gave that five stars. I need to rewatch it. It was, it was, it was brilliant, and I, it was obviously kind of more connected to it because of the Paul Walker thing. But you know, I'd seen the others, and I was really looking forward to it. I was kind of really hyped up about it. So that was a five star. And Avengers Two, Avengers Age of Ultron, of course. That was a five star movie. I think we can all agree on that one. Um, and then also for what we in September, I rewatched Frozen. <laughs> That's funny. I keep rewatching Frozen. Well, only twice this year. And then I watched Beauty and the Beast, which is my favourite Disney movie. Um, so of course I gave that one five stars. Okay, moving on to October. Um, and I watched. What did I give five stars in October? Mad Max 4. Um, this was great. I really, really did love it. I did a review on it, so that's kind of more of a recent one. Um, I also gave five stars to Interstellar, which I talked about, you know, like I said, I talked about that one and I said I'd watch it again. That was that time when I watched it again. And I rewatched Whiplash. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, I watched Whiplash again and of course again, I gave it five stars. So we kind of are getting a little bit repetitive for the five star thing, but so the only new one I gave five stars to in October was Mad Max 4. Now in November, I didn't watch too many movies as with December, so the only one I gave five stars to was The Age of Adeline. Um, wait, I also watched that in September. And it wasn't on my list. Huh. Okay, so in September I watched The Age of Adeline and I loved it and gave it five stars. Then in November I watched it again on Tuesday Night Movie Night. Loved it, gave it five stars again. So, yep, there's that one. And then in December, the movies that I gave five stars to are both Christmas movies. The first one is Elf. Elf's my favourite Christmas movie, so of course I'd give that one five stars. And then um, the other one I gave five stars to was Love Actually, which I loved and we watched again on Tuesday night, movie night. So yeah, those are all the movies that I gave five stars to throughout 2015. It's kind of interesting to look back and I think that throughout 2016 I might be a little bit more generous with my stars because there were some movies that I absolutely loved and I've watched multiple, multiple times and really enjoyed that. I gave four and a half, so maybe I need to be a bit kinder with my stars because like I said, I've only really given not that many movies five stars. Um, you know, obviously I've given some of my favourite movies five stars, like say One Day, Boys and Stripes, Jarmus, Beauty and the Beast, but they've been my favourites for a long time. Um, so, you know, we'll see what 2016 brings. But yeah, those are the movies I gave five stars to in 2015, no matter obviously what year they came out, just the ones I watched. It doesn't seem like that many, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below some of your favourite movies you watched throughout 2015. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!